I've already cut out my knickers or panties. Oh, I hate that word. Um, for the sake of this video, American audience, I'm going to call them pants. Okay? Good. Hi everyone, it's Liz. This will be a super quick video just to show you how you can make some pants or knickers out of scraps of cotton lycra jersey. It's really important that when you're using this method on finishing the legs and the waistband that you use cotton lycra jersey. If you use 100% cotton jersey or um, viscose jersey or anything that has less recovery than cotton lycra, your pants are eventually going to fall down, which is not good for anyone. You can do this project even if you only have a sewing machine, so don't worry about needing a special machine to do anything. As long as your machine can zigzag, you can do this. This is a really great stash busting project, so grab some cotton lycra and follow me. So I've already cut out my pants. Um, that's the front. There's the gusset and there's the back and I've sewn them together along the back of the gusset and just graded the seam there. So you can see all that means is they've been sewn together and then I've kind of cut into the layers so that the seam lies nice and flat. One thing that you will be able to see or hopefully should be able to see is that I have cut the gusset slightly smaller than the front of the pants and that's just so that when we do flip this over you get a nice clean edge and you don't get any of the gusset kind of rolling out underneath the edge so i've done this on both of pants, done that on the purple ones as well and you should be able to see again that the gusset is slightly smaller and when we again roll that in you don't see any of the gusset peeking out. So I'm going to take these over to the machines now and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can finish these edges and then we'll come back and do the tops. So the first way we can finish these pants is to just roll the edge in. I'm going to roll it in by a quarter of an inch and we will select a zigzag stitch. So on my machine I'm just gonna set the zigzag stitch a little bit less tall and a little bit wider just because that's my preference. I'm just gonna fold the edge in by about a quarter of an inch and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew over that with a narrow zigzag. Just keep folding it in. So as we approach the gusset, I'm just going to fold the edge over. So that's the inside and that's the outside. So you have, I mean, I would, if I wasn't showing this to you guys, probably colour match this a bit better, but you can see how stretchy that leg hole is going to be. You're not going to have any problems with pop stitches at all. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to sew the side seams together using the overlocker and then I'm going to use the exact same method along the top edge of the pants. I'm just going to fold them over by a quarter of an inch and zigzag them and that will give me, again, a very stretchy waistband. The edges have been overlocked, like that. And now what I'm gonna do is just fold the top 
down again by about a quarter of an inch and zigzag that and that will give us a nice pair of really stretchy comfy high waisted pants one thing i would say is that if you don't manage to get your zigzag right on the edge of um right on the edge of your folded over bit like i haven't what you can do is um, just go around again with a pair of duckbill scissors if you have some or just ordinary scissors all day and just trim that right back down so that that's not going to curl back over it's not a problem if it does it just makes the um, seam a little bit thicker probably than it needs to be but other than that jobs are good and so i'm going to finish these off and um, see you on the other side so the second method is almost exactly the same as the first it's a little bit more tricky and it requires the use of a cover stitch machine so i'm going to fold the edges over again probably about a quarter of an inch and i'm just going to slip that under the presser foot now if you saw my other video which i will link to in the screen above on how to use a cover stitch machine um you will know that actually you're working from the right side of the fabric with no idea where your hem is underneath unless you are very organized and meticulously measure it and press it shame shame one of my tips is that i just fold the hem over and then i line the raw edge up with the edge of the middle feed dog slot on my throat plate and that seems to um, line it up so that this outer needle just hits exactly on the edge it really never fails for me so you might want to fiddle about with your cover stitch machine and see if you can find a similar similar positioning i've set mine to a narrow cover stitch so i have the center needle and the left needle in and i'm gonna go There we have, I used funky rainbow thread by the way, because why not? So there we have the cover stitched um, hem. And that's how it looks from the front. Now, I obviously wasn't that great at making sure it was exactly over the edge of the hem because there is like tiny bits here, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather have a little bit more sticking out than to not catch it completely which is that's the worst case scenario for me um so yeah i can always trim those um edges up tidy them up with uh some duck bill scissors and the jobs are good and so i'm gonna go ahead and um finish the other leg off in that way and then i'm gonna do the exact same i'm gonna sew the side seams up with the overlocker and then I'm gonna fold the waistband down and finish them off. So here are the finished pants. We have a neatly stitched top hem with cover stitch on the avocado pants and also a cover stitched leg hem. They're both really stretchy. There's no chance these are just gonna give up on you super super stretchy and also for the purple ones just finished with a really simple zigzag on the sewing machine again really stretchy really stretchy leg bands so yeah no need for knicker elastic at all don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below if there are particular videos that you'd like to see in the future. I always love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorials like this. And please, if you enjoy this, like this video because it'll help get my video out to more people.